Welcome, dear friends, to the Taviren, a Wheel of Time podcast hosted by three gentlemen for whom the very wheel itself bends around. Without further ado, here are your hosts, Bill, Rob, and Rich. Hello, and welcome to the Taviren post credit script, <laughs> where I'm going to surprise Rob with some extra stuff. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here with my eyes wide open, hoping I can recall yeah, anything. Sitting, sitting there with your dagger in your hand. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh man, uh, the song, right? Uh, this will only take a couple of minutes, Rob. <laughs> I Go ahead. This was one of my most disappointing things that never really got resolved in the books. Because the tink- I, when I was reading The Memory of Light, uh, there's a point where Rand kind of discovers a song that brings, or like, he doesn't even realize it's a song. But he starts like humming or something, and then like all these trees burst out of everywhere. And it's kind of, ah, oh, it's so disappointing that that knowledge doesn't get passed on. Because I always, in my head, I thought, oh, that's it. It Rand didn't make it back to the Tinkers? No, it didn't make it because Rand's on his own. And then he goes, uh, oh, so the it very, very, very. Tinkers, it doesn't make it to the Ogier, who are the other people who could probably use the song to any sort of good use. It doesn't make it to yep. the Maidens. With the other because you know the maidens have lots of war songs and stuff but they're good singing people of the same stock from the the people of the leaf <laughs> and the tinkers and it never got resolved and i always thought in my head that that was the point rand had remembered the song because obviously he's got all of lewis fairin's memories in his head yeah and lewis fairin come from a time when they would have known the song but it never got resolved it was just like that no one's ever going to find out this fucking song. So, yeah, Rand has all of the consciousness of Luz Theron Telamon. Yes. And he knew, the, he knew the song. So, so Rand okay. is able to recreate the song <laughs> to bring life. Yeah. But never of, gives closure to the, to, the, to the Tinkers. But it's not the song. <laughs> what? Brandon, Brandon Sanderson confirmed that Rand never finds out the song. Whatever he did wasn't the song. Apparently, the song is just a philosophical... Uh, <laughs> philosophical, philosophical. Question. yeah philosophical question about life you know they're not actually searching for a specific song they're just supposed to go out to the world to find songs but it's over not the, thousands of years it became searching for the song it's not the destination it's the journey it is indeed and brandon sanson confirms that after memory of life was released Wow. So uh, that was that was always so Robert Jordan's intention was that the Tinkers never ever find the song. And the intention was that there wasn't actually a song to find in the first place. But so, the experience yeah, in the journey. Some sometimes, Rob, I just get to the end uh, when I'm reading these chapters, I've got things I'm just burning to talk about, but I know I can't because of spoilers. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm gonna create this little sort of post spoiler chat and we'll release it like a day or two after the main episode. So look forward okay. to that, people. <laughs> this, might, this might not be a regular thing, but if I've got something I'm burning to talk about, because yeah, other times I've had to stop the podcast in the middle. Like when I wanted to talk about the fact that the dream, some of the dreams that Rand's having, I don't think are being caused by Beelzebub, who's you know affecting all the boys' dreams at this point. I think some of them are Lewis Fairy, who's stuck inside Rand's brain, and it's the first few attempts that he's got of trying to manipulate Rand. Like when Rand's running around the uh, and it, every direction he turns, he can see the White Tower. I think that's Lewis Ferrin's fears coming out. Can I ask you one quick question? Uh, I'm not polishing my dagger at the moment. Okay, <laughs> hands off the dagger. So on the audiobooks, are is the the is the original dragon being called Lewis or Luz? I believe his name is Luz without the I. Lewis. Mm, it's Luz. Oh. I hmm. now hmm. <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 next time it pops up in the audio book I'll, I'll okay. know it. I'm sure it's Lewis, only asking because I do town, rep- there's a town just outside of Brighton I, I lived in Brighton for a little bit when I was younger okay uh, and there's a town outside of Ly- uh, Brighton which is spelt the same way and it's called Lewis oh. so I think it might be like a weird English pronunciation that's fine. I just know that we had a YouTube comment, of, of a friendly one, like because at the same time that I was called out for the Emmonsfield Two Rivers, someone else commented, "Use <laughs> not Lewis." I would definitely advise people not to worry about the, how much we say things wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think your fingers would break from typing your key, typing on your keyboard for too long. Uh, I can't. I had a, I, a few years ago. I had a tooth removed at the back of my mouth, <laughs> and I really struggle now with certain sort of slurring 
things because <laughs> my tongue just sort of well i'm glad i'm glad you're struggling with the slurs i want you to reduce the amount of slurs that you that you utter <laughs> yeah so that's why I, that's why i occasionally stumble over stuff because i've had to sort of like you know my mouth my, the shape of my mouth is slightly different to what it used to be <laughs> so i tend to bite my tongue a lot Anyway, There's yeah, another podcast about my, my, my teeth situation. The shape of Bill's mouth. That yeah, could I, be a whole other podcast. Just, just uh, I bit into something and it cracked a tooth. Oh. So yeah, it was just a, an unfortunate event, and the tooth just Ouch. became so painful. I had to have it removed. It's one of the big ones at the back, but yeah, it, it left a big hole. <laughs> I am so sorry. Yeah, that's all right. You know, it just means I, I now speak like. With the anyway, <laughs> lose becomes Lewis. Anyway, that's enough of the Mardi. They didn't find a song. Rand didn't find a song either. There was no song. <laughs> Sorry, people. There isn't a song. <laughs> but yes, that that brings an end to our first uh, post credits roll. Oh no, postscript. That's what I want to call it. <laughs> Tarvian postscript. Spoiler. Yeah, make sure, make sure you got spoilers written all over the title and everything. It will. <laughs> it will. It definitely will. All okay. Right, well, that's enough. That's enough from that's for the, that's enough postscript today. I'll speak all to right. you next week. Um, oh, no, I'm gonna go. Tonight. I'm gonna go find a song. <laughs> Good luck, mate. Thank you. <laughs> it's on the uh, Garage Inc. album. This too. <laughs> <laughs> Now that our heroic trio have left the familiar confines of the two rivers, they find themselves being chased by all sorts of denizens of the Dark One. Our party has been scattered, and the boys separated from Marvrain and Lan. Let us hope that luck, or some other force, can keep them safe. Uh, Bill? Bill? Billiam! Put that dagger down! You have no idea where in creation that's been! No, no, Rich. I don't have an extra cloak with me. Maybe if you didn't ride your horse straight into the Aranel, you wouldn't have this problem, hmm? For crying out loud, Robert, I know that girl from Berlon said weird things to you, but you shouldn't let it get under your skin so much. What are you, Eleven? You all remind me of a younger version of myself. Why, back in Watch Hill, I would... Podcasters Assemble! Podcasters Assemble Season 2 is a hype slash rewatch podcast that's reviewing every movie in the Star Wars Skywalker saga and a countdown to the release of Episode 9. As with Season 1, where we covered all of the films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we want to hear from you about your favorite things in the Star Wars films. You can submit audio for just one of the movies in the Skywalker saga, or you can send in an audio file for every single one. Talk about what you love about the film, your favorite like light side moment versus dark side moment, or your favorite music cue, your favorite quote, or your favorite ship or vehicle in the movie. If you go to probablywork.com and look for Podcasters Assemble, you'll find these instructions as well as a link on where to go to submit your audio. In order to make sure we have time to edit everything, we're looking for you to submit your audio a couple days before that. So the deadline for the first episode is going to be October 20th. And then it's weekly after that. So for episode two, it's October 27th and so on from there. Again, you can find the schedule and all of this information at probablywork.com. Whether you're a podcaster, a YouTuber, a streamer, or just a fan of Star Wars, we want to hear from you. So head to probablywork.com or look up at Casters Assemble on Twitter and share your thoughts about Star Wars. This has been a presentation of the We Can Make This Work Probably Network. Follow us on Twitter at ProbablyWork for more of our questionable content. Also, we have a website called ProbablyWork.com.